Hey everyone, Michael K here. Today I wanted to cover some recent news on HIV and AIDS. I find it kind of interesting. Here we go. Gita Ramji, a leading HIV researcher, has died of the age of 63 due to the coronavirus. Working in South Africa, she led the studies of drug trials, hoping to overcome not only HIV, but also the cultural barriers to stopping the spread. One of the research projects that she was involved in was whether a vaginal microbicide was useful against AIDS, which was rampant in South Africa. The research put her in close contact with sex workers who told chilling stories of economic hardships and high risky behavior with men who are indifferent about using protection. Here is a quote from her. That's when I knew I wanted to get involved in the prevention of HIV, infection in women. Rest in peace. We appreciate your hard work for a great cause. In other news, uh, Elton John has pledged a million dollars for the fight against HIV AIDS to ensure sufferers are not forgotten during this coronavirus pandemic. Sir Elton John is working with the AIDS, his AIDS Foundation and the new funds would be available in the next few months. Sir Elton, who is self-isolating in Los Angeles with his husband and the couple's two sons. Here is a quote from Elton. Um, I'm going to stick to my guns with the AIDS Foundation and make sure because of the global pandemic that's happening that the people are suffering from another global pandemic won't be forgotten. I appreciate his generosity and support in the fight against HIV AIDS. In other news, uh, a few weeks ago this news hit um, that a 40-year-old former chef named Adam Castellejo has revealed that he is the London patient, the second person in the world to be cured of HIV. I talked about this in my previous vlog, um, researching for a cure for HIV. Uh, he had a blood stem cell transplant to treat a life-threatening blood cancer. The stem cells used a gene that is highly resistant to HIV virus. This is a rare gene that can only be found in about 1% of the population. This is not a viable cure for all due to the rarity of the gene and risky procedure outweighs the benefits. This can still help them uh, with researching a cure for HIV though. I am proud of him for going out public. He should be an inspiration to us all. As most of us are hunkering down at home lately due to this pandemic, I'd like to share in the near future, which I've been wanting to for quite some time now, about uh, HIV AIDS uh, documentaries. I find them quite interesting, entertaining, sometimes eye-opening. I hope you're all well out there. Please like and subscribe. Take care, everyone. Michael K.